I have these galvanized plaques that I got from the Dollar Tree and they are in the shape of a stocking and I have three of them here. I'm going to remove the jute from the top of all three and I'm going to just get rid of this as I have new jute that I'm going to string through them when I'm done. Now I'm going to use my Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer and this comes in a few different colors. I'm going to use the white. You can also use the clear. And I'm using a Gen Foam Brush and I'm just going to apply the primer to the top of each stocking. Now the reason for the primer is whenever painting on metal this will help adhere the paint. So if you ever paint on metal or glass you do always want to prime. And I'm just going to do two coats. As you can tell, just with the one coat, it doesn't give full coverage. So you want that to fully dry. And then when you go and apply your second coat, you will see that it gives much better coverage after the second coat. And depending on the surface you are painting will depend on how the paint goes on. But after the two coats this worked well on the metal. Now I'm going to use some Wise Owl Black Chalk Synthesis Paint and I'm going to paint on top of the primer with the Wise Owl Black. And you just want to make sure everything is fully dry before you move to the next step. Next I'm going to be using a Maker Studio Adhesive Mesh Stencil. This is called Root For Me. It's an 8.5 by 11 inch stencil and I like the different borders and designs throughout the top of it. And I'm going to lay the design on top of the black paint, so the top portion of the stocking. And I'm just going to lay the white backing back on the areas I'm not using. I have some white gel art ink. I'm going to put some on a plate and then I'm going to take my silicone spread pal and I'm going to spread the ink on top of my mesh stencil. Now you want to make sure that you put enough so that it goes through the screen on the stencil, but you do not want to overwork it. And once that was fully covered, I just lifted it, and you can see how this gives a really nice finish. You don't have any bleeding in your stencil, so these mesh stencils are great, especially if you're a beginner with stenciling. And then I'm just going to set that one aside to dry. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the other portion of the design on top of my second stocking. And again, I'm just spreading the ink on top of the mesh stencil, making sure I cover all the areas that I need. And then when I lift it, we have this really nice design. Now I'm going to repeat the same exact step on my third stocking. I did have to wash the mesh stencil in between use here. And that's another important thing when you're done using your mesh stencils, make sure that you wash them really well and let them dry. I have these three wooden tags. You can get a pack of them from Dollar General and I believe you can even get them at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna paint them using some Wise Owl Antique Villa paint. And then I have the letters J, O, and Y to spell joy. And I'm going to paint them using some Wise Owl Black. Now you do not have to make a word. You could just do initials for people that you know. Or you can even get more stockings and make a bigger word. You can really customize this to fit your decor and your liking. So once that was all dry, I have some wooden beads. I got these ones from Walmart. You can also find them on Amazon. And I'm just going to be using the natural wood beads. And I'm going to string five onto a piece of jute. And I'm going to do that three times. And I'm going to leave my jute a little longer just to make sure that I have enough. Then I'm going to take the end of the jute and I'm going to string it through the hole in the wood tag. And then I'm going to string the jute back up through the beads. Now this is a very, very thin jute. So it goes back into the wood beads pretty easily. 
but if the holes in the bead are a little too small, this may not work as easily. And then I'm going to take my first letter and glue it onto my first tag. And I'm just using some Elmer's wood glue. I just dab a little on the back side and adhere it to my wood tag. And I'm going to repeat that through the other two tags as well. So I'm just stringing it through the hole in the top of the tag and then stringing it back up through the wood beads. And then you want to glue your letter onto your tag. I'm going to go back to my stockings and I'm going to have my roll of jute and I'm going to string the jute through the top holes that were already in the stocking. And once I have the jute strung through all three stockings, I'm just going to cut it on the end, making sure I just leave enough room so that I can hang it. I'm going to go back to my tags and I'm going to tie each tag through the second hole on the stocking and make a little bow. And this was just one way to attach it to the top without having to use any glue. So I'm just using the extra jute and stringing it through that one hole that was already in the stocking and just making a really tiny bow. Now once I had all three tags in place, I then took some E6000 and just put a little on the bottom of the tags so that we could adhere those in place so that they don't move around. And there we go. Now we just have this really cute Joy stocking garland. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.